Greetings YouTube. <clears throat> what is this mess you see in front of you? This is just something I had promised a couple of uh, people that have messaged me. They wanted to kind of see a little bit about my design process, so I'm adding it to the Harry Potter video. It's going to be quick. I'm going to just blaze through it. So, when I design, I make a lot of prototypes. The first thing I make is this, basically it's a sizing skirt. <clears throat> Very simple. Um, and what I am is I'm checking the size of the box, getting the actual dimensions of the box, and then I cut off about one to two millimeters all the way around because these boxes are one, not square, and two, not uniform between the packages. <clears throat> Sometimes the walls will dip in, they'll bulge out, they won't be completely square. The other thing that I make is test fit devices. So this is to fit the potion cupboard uh, overlays. And I wanted to see if I could store them upright in the different slots like that. So this was just a quick little printout I made to see if it would work. Then I have mistakes. These uh, ended up thermally expanding. They're supposed to basically drop in here and you can see uh, not a good fit. Uh, just, you know, they're printed like this in this orientation. And they ended up just being tall, even though the dimensions are the same. Uh, these ended up expanding a little bit, and they didn't fit. I had to shave off about a millimeter and a half. This is a drawer I printed. Uh, just wanted to change the dimensions a tiny bit on it. And, you know, it's like 70 grams, so I printed another one with the final dimensions. These are additional test fit pieces. Uh, they slid in here and allowed me to space out the uh, charms boards, which you'll see in the final layout. And then this is a final product that I was going to put in here, and I discovered I'd made a mistake. I forgot a cutout right here, and that cutout, you can see it right here, allows you to scoop out the charms once they're in here. But let me show you the final product insert, which is a split insert. Uh, it can be stored bookshelf or flat, either way. And the final insert holds all three expansions. We got monsters, we got charms, we got the core game. We've got game board, our potions covered. And then this is where I was talking about the charms, having that cut out in there. So these come out real easy with this nice little cut out here. All five player boards. And then you can kind of see here, I didn't have this cut out, so I couldn't actually reach down to the charms. I could only get to about here. So now I can get all the charms out. Here's our cover, or potion covered overlays, like I showed you with the little test fit. All of our dice tokens and everything else are in here. Dice, Petrificus Totalis, Harp, Hearts, and, uh, and Counter Tokens. Potions, ingredients, skulls for the locations. This tray you dump out. This tray, however, is a play tray. Take it out, put it on the table. You have your, uh, I don't remember what that's called, merit, reputation, something like that. And then you have your lightning bolts, your damage. And then the last piece, I'll show you the split. The split actually took quite a bit of time off of printing because what you ended up with is there's a lot less travel moves on the split, you know, bouncing between all these different spots and all these different zones. So I cut about an hour off the print time with the split, and it also now will fit on an Ender 3, so I was going to have to split it anyhow. And here is the split. So I'm going to pull this back. The split is you have a long tray, and you can see that I'm actually in what's called epic configuration, but I designed this with the idea that you could be an epic or you could have the entire game taken apart into your game one through seven, uh, box one through four, pack one through four. Oh, broke it. Um, but here you go. And these have a stiffer slant because they need to lay lower to set the player boards in there. There's not a whole lot of room left in here. Uh, if they make another expansion, I hope that uh, it's a big box expansion. But uh, we'll see what we can do. But right now it holds everything. Thanks. Enjoy it. It'll be up on Colts in a second.